Also um den Prozess.
it's um, more of a process. Process. It's uh, we are trying to more uh, giving a little insight here in our, in our workshop rather than uh, showing the results. Uh, Rockford is a very recent project. We found that in uh, 2009, and we really don't have to show that many results. That's just the truth. But we want to try and to get inside view into um, the way we work and uh, in our personal interests. Me as a graphic designer, who is also as a programmer. And since we also mentioned that there is a person, Gina Briefer, she is more um, responsible for uh, content management, for editing, um, and for this editing process. She is at the moment looking to the sum of her software at the moment in Syria. He's the godfather, Gina, the mother, and I, the father, basically. And we have Rock Forest One, as Sylvia uh, mentioned it, Rock Forest One kid, and the other one is the one. <laughs> um, after the short uh, introduction, uh, the video introduction, we continue like this, that <clears throat> I tell just a couple of some minutes what where I'm coming from, what is my background, and then Rafi does the same, then we uh, just dive into the Rockford project and in the end we talk about the things we did. As Rafi said, we are we try to keep it really on the, the, the stuff we already did uh, and to maybe if there's a discussion afterwards uh, we can do like more and uh, talk on an abstract or theoretical level then in a way of, for example, how the whole automized process um, has an impact on the work of the graphic designer, for example, which is a question of concern for for, for, for. Um, <clears throat> I learned computer programming when I was very young, then I studied film science, and uh, this has actually nothing to do with the Rockfall, but it's very, for me, it's kind of important because of, uh, I always had to try to, but, but what I studied wasn't exactly that, what I do, so uh, I'm forced to basically connect different worlds together, and I'm, as a programmer, standing now in the middle between, you know, design or art or literature. One project uh, I did was called Sync Panner. It's a image database which was linked to live musicians, and uh, they were basically able to play through improvised music, create panoramas which are always scrolling from the left to the right side, um, like this. So basically, the, the musicians never knew exactly what kind of images they are going to trigger when they play music. They just knew um, topics which were assigned to their instruments. For example, the drummer knew that he has kind of a, uh, he plays nature or industry and this kind of mutual uh, relation between music and image was, uh, yeah, I don't like the, 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 the main purpose of the installation. <coughs> In another project which is called Automatic Cinema, I also try to uh, generate so generating design as with rock for, but I try to generate basically uh, uh, cinematic narrations and uh, therefore we developed a special system of um, tagging uh, media data. Uh, um, we, can, we can assign on a, on a matrix, we can assign media data to keywords and with setting links or arrows in between we can do some kind of logic connections so that the computer when um, 
basically that the computer can uh, generate uh, narrations out of these logic structures and it's easy to uh, work with the media database and uh, create with different styles uh, like various various movies again and again those are like two things I'm working and uh, shows a little bit the background of my work Well, then, uh, a few things about uh, my own first. I was um, against Urs's uh, career somehow classic trained as a graphic designer. And I look back on, on, a, on a 30 years uh, period already after I left school. And this is all about uh, something about the topic for, for this lecture, having this kind of period like 10, 12, 13 years. And then uh, if you look back, you see you made some, uh, some, 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 some red points, and if you, look, if you look back on your work, you also can, can, can find uh, slightly some links. And um, at the end, that turns out uh, for me as, as a major interest. You see here a kind of romantic machine that was the result of our diploma work. We, had a, we, we rented a room and we did the exhibitions as graphic designers, it's our diploma work over the period of three months, at the time uh, 1999. And um, we were organizing this exhibition, we were doing uh, the exhibition, uh, yes, somehow uh, curating the exhibitions, and of course we did the, the graphic design, the advertising, advertising things uh, for, for these little events. And we decided at the end of this uh, period to having a, not like a retrospective exhibition, with all the exhibitions, um, we, we decided to make a machine which is um, practically just featuring the, the past three months, all the works, but um, on this kind of romantic uh, level, we described that machine as a graphic design uh, automat, which can stand um, in public. We put it next to a, next to a ticket um, automat from a public transport system to allow, um, in a way, everybody to produce a graphic design. And this is, uh, for me, very much the beginning from, from, from my personal interest, which is now, um, at the time, um, continuing with uh, Rock 4. Second work is uh, also um, based, or, or, or has, its, has its origins at the, the transport uh, project, that was uh, the Lego font. That was uh, one of dozen fonts we did at the time. We did fonts as you may also do just for one purpose or just for one poster, just for having a unique font. And one font we did was a uh, Lego font. And um, <coughs> on request of uh, Colonel Lindin uh, and his uh, font label Lime 2, we developed the Lego font further into uh, two cuts, having two cuts of the font, like an AM and PM, we so called. And this is just a um, different shadowed um, alphabets. And the Lego font was uh, also developed as a little application where you can uh, play Lego um, on an online, uh, online application. That was the first moment where Urs Levy and me and working together with Jürg Levy, the lot of Urs, and he actually made possible um, to, uh, to, to having this little application. Um, this little application is a part of the fact um, that you can play Lego. Um, interesting because you can also um, export the data as illustrated files on your desktop. So it's uh, more like just playing and saving an image. At the time, it's uh, still in the year 2000. Um, so you can extract graphic design and you can further develop it um, on your desktop. This is, uh, was probably one goal of this uh, work. And it was a kind of further development um, um, compared to this graphic design automat because it was for us the first um, running application. Out of that project came um, Vectorama. Um, initially, initially sold them um, only as a as a vector database, just because of this time. Uh, it's now 2001. Uh, a graphic designer started extensively using uh, uh, vector drawings and we simply thought, I mean, I have drawn these trees or I have drawn this house or I have drawn whatever I have drawn with vector shapes 
I mean, why I do need to, to draw all this stuff, you know, if everybody draws, uh, we should make a platform and share this um, vector illustrations. Years after, um, we established uh, Vectorama, and um, there was Neubauer, I don't know if you remember that, the German graphic designers, they um, published a book full of vectors, and um, quite comparable with Letraset books in the early 70s, 80s. And they also distributed to this book you see your own, which you had all these uh, vectors already prepared for use on your desktop. So this is why we decided uh, not having only a database, uh, I mean not having like not having like this kind of box where all the vectors in, in it, we, we decided to make a, a little game out of it. And that was the starting point of Vector Arm the image you see on the right which uh, actually was a, a multi-user playground where um, up to 10 people can play on that so-called um, playground and can uh, drag and drop uh, different vector illustrations on the, on the desktop. This is so far on a, on a visual way. Um, the last state um, we worked together with me and, uh, and Jörg and this is also a kind of graphical application which somehow generates graphic design. Over the years, um, there were stored in a database over a half million different drawings from yeah, numerous users. This is a little movie just to add uh, to finish that project. It's like one, one day um, action on, on the platform. It's basically uh, our first collaboration and um, it's therefore interesting because uh, it ended up in a generated book, the whole project, but it wasn't actually the plan. It was also a couple of years ago when Google was really interesting and search engines were really interesting on the internet. We tried to program a machine. Uh, now this sounds really all a bit out of age somehow. But we try to program a machine where you can type in whatever term you want and the, the machine defines this term by generating a kind of a grammatically correct definition. Um, this was a collaboration with some literature uh, guys and friends. We were working together. In the end, this website collected about a couple of thousand definitions and we thought, hey, now we have this database, it would be great to, to, to bring this, this, this database back into a printed form to close basically uh, uh, this circle and, um, and also to bring it back in this kind of classical um, uh, look, you know, of an encyclopedia. And, um, Funny thing was, yeah, it, the book was a book on demand with all the negative sides of a book on demand. That means uh, not really beautiful printed and not really uh, beautif beautifully produced, but it was still awarded as one of the most beautiful Swiss books that year, which was quite surprising. <coughs> Showed us a little bit that maybe there's um, some potential in. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, trying experiments with uh, generated uh, algorithms and layers. Yeah, <clears throat> because it was also a little bit uncertain the question what was first, the, the book or the internet. And it's, it's 10 years ago and um, we started actually one-to-one -one internet content into a book and that was also a, a, a sort of new one at the time. Um, and uh, yeah, but this is this is more or less. I mean, this is it was the beginning of uh, 
of our co collaboration and um, it just was an ongoing row of, 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 um, of the idea how to make graphic design, just do graphic design by hand or the former project as I showed them at the Roma League of Home Creative was not even um, um, doing graphic design by hand or not by hand, it's more like let graphic design somehow appear or let other people do graphic design and this is maybe a little bit the overall topic of, of the lecture as well and what's the role of the graphic designer, is he more like a, a, a guy who is, a, who, is, who, is, who is developing tools for others as legal font creator or vector on, or is he a guy who is defining a rules and to, to let appear graphic design instead of doing it by hand or by its own? Yeah, or is he a guy who has to follow the programmer who is telling what's possible or not? <coughs> but we can discuss this also in private. <coughs> um, yeah, after uh, uh, Encyclopedizer. <laughs> Strange name, I know, I think it's but we were working together with literature people, so it tends to work a little bit like um, uh, Yeah, Rockfo started uh, three, three years ago, basically. Um, uh, more or less, it's a website to collect uh, data on it, so I guess. Everybody of you knows how this kind of content manager looks. It's a, it's a self-developed thing, but uh, we don't want to focus uh, too much now on the website. It's, it's, we developed it by ourselves because uh, then we have everything under control and we can do whatever we want. And uh, it's, it's optimized to store data in, in, for, for, for matter basically for books for example it's optimized to create chapters and uh, issues if you are, if you want to print like periodicals then you can open just in, open up just a new issue of the of the of the same project. Um, but still I mean it's a self-developed thing so it's so it's just um, under strong development all the time. The more interesting thing uh, Development wise, is basically not the input side, but the output side. That means we have to program for every project we so far did, and we, we have to do. We, we've uh, programmed output modules uh, which generates then the graphics. And uh, as you can see here, um, They are like kind of strange uh, introduction to the art. What? No, no, it's a little bit abstract. Uh, these two images that shows exactly the, the my personal problem of uh, creating output modules. Uh, both are the same situation. Uh, one, I guess, in India, and the other one maybe in Germany or wherever. Maybe also in Italy, since Italy is part of the EU. <laughs> uh, um, when I'm confronted with graphic design as a programmer, I have a situation like on the left side when Rafi comes to me and has an idea of uh, something has to look. Then it's kind of a solution, often which is, uh, from a logical point of view, quite hard uh, to, to, you know, to break down to hard facts. Uh, as a computer programmer, I like the right side. I like uh, clear uh, situations, a uh, start and an end point. I, uh, I like simple steps, basically, and I like objects as the cards on the right side, which are pretty stupid because they just they start and stop when it's green and red. And on the left side, it's an extremely intelligent uh, situation because every car on the left side has its own basically logic and uh, uh, 
So the art basically is uh, uh, do a kind of transform, trans transformation from the left to the right side and not losing everything which is emotional or everything which is kind of uh, beautiful. That's uh, my everyday struggle in this project. So another in the movie, uh, uh, the narrator talks about Sol Levit. It's just for this purpose that this kind of, this kind of conceptual art is also kind of algorithm driven. And you can see here, it's that description up is exactly what happens below. And um, for me, it's a, an ideal situation when the graphic designer can describe the graphic and uh, I can just transform it. Um, to go on with the, uh, the idea of uh, creating algorithms which print out uh, graphic design, we have a little preview of a, of a book we are now working on. It's not finished, so uh, it might change in some details. But, um, it's a, it's a, as you can see, our, our books are heavy text-based. That's maybe not so fancy to display, but it's, uh, it's a lot of a lot to read that it's just I guess so far the case that, that we just have project yeah which are mainly based upon text collections. This one here it's a it's a reader about the topic of bibliomania. Uh, it's going to be an exhibition in autumn in Zurich and it's like a collection of short and long texts about uh, maniac uh, book maniacs and uh, the maniac uh, uh, consumption of books, up to burning books or loving books, you know. So we have kind of different um, emotional relations to towards the book or different uh, strong levels of, uh, of, the, of the maniacs. And uh, the book is like sorted that it starts with less strong and manic text and ends up in the really like with with like book burning and the really strong uh, uh, maniacs and this uh, idea uh, is kind of included uh, into the whole uh, design that means uh, the book begins a very strong layout uh, according to a, uh, to a grid and uh, more basically this emotional level raises uh, the layout gets more and more uh, destructed and, um, <coughs> the, the, the size of the font size is dependent on how important a text is for the topic is it more like a central text or more like a peripheral text and um, so we have, uh, this is maybe a, a screen which is then more towards the end. And the texts are also like starting to float around and wrap around themselves more, more maniac basically, the character of the book is. And, um, yeah. Um, yeah, you, you spoke about text and we are still going to do the first image book. I'm very curious how is that turning out, really. I've got no clue so far, anyway, to that. So we are we're looking for what to get in touch with materials and not only text there. And, 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 and also as well images. Uh, what I want to say to that project is, is like also something about um, the... But uh, about the visual intention, um, uh, for me as a graphic designer, if, if you are talking about possible algorithms, if you are talking about uh, also the way to uh, to transform a graph graphical idea into code, actually, um, this is for me especially interesting uh, for that kind of project that is all about collecting and collection. Collection is, is a big, big topic uh, in, in, in terms of bibliomania. 
And I've got my own story as well to that book. And I always wish to have um, a book which is starting really in, a, in an order train and then ending up in a mess somehow. Not in an unreadable mess, as you can see here. I mean, this is probably, yeah, 135 is the page number of, of, of an amount of probably 200. So it's, uh, it's a bit more than uh, the middle of the book. And just to show you somehow um, how typically you can, can develop a collection. And in our opinion, the collection um, uh, uh, has its starting point at the moment where you decide to, to buy a bookshelf. And then you are very driven by putting all the books very properly in the bookshelf until the bookshelf is full and uh, the books start into lying on the, on the, on the table or, or on the floor or wherever. And this is a little bit the, the design intention of the book and um, having like this kind of development through the layout from the beginning to the end, from order to disorder, um, somehow. And this is really re relaxes me um, as a designer, uh, relaxes me a lot because I don't have to pointing out uh, a single page or a spread or just a whole chapter of a book. I try to, to, to believe the book um, and the nature of the book as itself.
to describe basically what we do, what our work is, and, uh, um, and in the next, uh, basically, to, to broaden a little bit, sort of we just talk about some things we already did, some uh, cases where we started, and some books that lay around here. Yes, uh, right from the, from the most recent uh, project to one of the first projects. Um, we were commissioned by a school, actually also a design school in Bern, um, to in the first step um, a look over all the medias they producing. They produced at the time many different medias like posters, postcards, uh, little one, little one, and uh, magazines and everything. Just quite a lot, uh, a, a big bunch of, of, of different medias. And uh, marketing department, of course, said, uh, yeah, we have to uh, somehow uh, reduce the amount of media so we are communicating to school at all. And uh, we wanted to have something like a, a central uh, media uh, to communicate our activities. And um, we proposed them to have this kind of little diary. Um, uh, in German is called Veranstaltungskalender. And it is actually the first moment that um, Urs uh, started developing a software which can be used uh, by all the teachers, by all the secretaries, by, by many people of the school, just um, to, um, um, to, collect, uh, to, collect, to collect the data in, in, into a database. And um, Urs set up this database and I I have developed in the meantime the aesthetics of the calendar and we are ended up at the school that, as I said, the staff um, actually collected all the, the data and um, just by printing out, um, by, by pushing uh, somehow uh, the PDF printing button at the end of the database and it came out different leaves uh, which, uh, which announcing uh, different um, events from school. Which was kind of Quite funny because first it was really thought as a very practical approach to optimizing processes, uh, but we were quite, um, you know, there were like unknown side effects because uh, the algorithm uh, scaled the titles of all the events according to the to the length of the title, uh, which was quite a funny side effect because. Uh, people who were thinking of, oh wow, I have a really interesting event and I want to put this one with a very long and very good title into uh, this, this uh, schedule. Um, they were kind of uh, yeah, backfiring a little bit because uh, it was scaled down to a very small form. So the winners were those who keep themselves short. <coughs> And uh, that sometimes leads to the situations that the people were thinking about really new titles, short titles for their events, um, which we didn't think of, uh, but which was kind of um, a, a nice side effect of, 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 of having a kind of a strict uh, generator. Um, another work we did that was uh, um, an experimental thing for the design um, prize uh, last year. It was a edition, edition uh, rock for. It was basically uh, we always said that we really try to be uh, practical. We really try to not talk too much about you know generative design or whatever. We really try to produce stuff. So we thought, uh, since we our first big uh, uh, book was then still just in print and not ready for for the competition, we just thought, okay, we try to produce 24 books in two weeks uh, as fast as we can. The three of us, and of course, it's not the the, the, the most intelligent content because uh, yeah, we just. Programmers, graphic designers, and editors, and not geniuses. And <clears throat> so everybody of us had his own approach to to generate content, and we set up like a, a, a very strict um, layout according to the, the school, uh, you know, uh, yeah, 
how you say Deutsch, Französisch, Musik, that's cool. It's various, uh, it's various subjects you have, you know, at the gymnasium in Switzerland. <laughs> So I was more like into, uh, since I'm not a writer, I was more like into programming content for the books, like uh, programming uh, kind of a worm, which was uh, downloading automatically uh, music, uh, biographies of MySpace profiles, and filling you know, up the, 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 the music reader. Just I just press stop when it reached 500 pages because that would would go on forever and ever. And um, but it's mostly just you know a lot of content is just copy pasted from the net or yeah you had the the uh, the re yeah the religion is like a, a, a voice recognition of some American kind of hardcore religious podcasts <coughs> which are then without dots and points just like a really long sermon. You did uh, uh, chemics, like all the side effects of, of the views, I guess. But anyway, it's not. It's the focus was on not on the content. The focus was on we have a machine and we, we really try to yeah do something within a short period of time uh, without neglecting design totally. But it's of course not really a, a, a serious work, but it. Maybe a starting point for some pocket books. I mean, yes, that, that was, that was the, there was also a kind of intention of, or, or let's say at least an idea of not giving up a, a, at the time totally. But we also realized, I mean, we just, that was really like a, a, in a short period, it was an intensive period, and Urs had his own way to, to generate content, and I'm more like into copy pasting things and tr try to control something as a graphic designer, of course. And yeah, but still, as Azur's uh, as said, I mean, this brought forward they are used for, 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 for being a very fast and very efficient, uh, efficient, efficient tool. Whilst then, um, at this uh, calendar for a school of art in Bern, <coughs> was brought for more into optimizing process and then uh, giving people access to content, uh, which is also speeding up uh, the process uh, somehow because. The calendar, me as a designer, I had at the end just to control all the files, and that took us about for production of the whole calendar about uh, a week or so. I mean, it's not comparable if you set off this, this thing uh, with all the media or, or doing it by hand. So, the last case we talk about that we talk about before in detail is um, <clears throat> quasi basically our, uh, our serious uh, product, if you want to say. No, it's like a really published book by an editor. It's uh, uh, by the art edition edition Patrick Frey. It's a, a, a book about um, a journalist who died 2001 called Robert R. Fischer from Zurich. And he was like a typing maniac. Maybe it closes also the circle to the bi bibliomania book we're working on, but it's just pure, pure accident. Uh, <laughs> um, Robert Fischer was basically typing every day his whole life, at least three or four thousand letters uh, with his typing machine and later with his computer. And he started as uh, doing mail art and uh, fanzines. Yeah, you could also like basically uh, print his old fanzines, which would be so brief nowadays. He was uh, also did some kind of yeah uh, very special type aesthetics, which a little bit influenced our idea of the book as well, or as you can see here, that was this kind of uh, material he, uh, he produced. Uh, since it was a lot of personal stuff, like diaries, or uh, it, it was full of errors, so the 
book is not proofread. It's his special uh, his special language and his uh, stream of consciousness, if you name it like this, um, which is uh, which is transformed into the book. So in the end, we made a selection of, or that was Gina's work. She made a selection of uh, 240 texts about uh, roughly following an idea of uh, Robert Fischer of a book as well, but he couldn't finish or he wasn't capable of uh, you know, structuring his own, his own mind because he just left a big, big mess, if I can put it a little bit negative. And uh, so it was a little bit our work and also the, this, uh, the concept of the book to um, structure as a content. So it's basically about, of course, it's about design, and we have a closer look at this afterwards, but it's also about um, <coughs> structurizing contents and working with the statistics, try to figure out uh, parts in the database, assign them to keywords, and uh, figure out with the statistical um, um, tools which part would be close to another part, and then to establish kind of a linking system cross links between uh, texts which could be similar so that you can basically browse through the books a little bit like with a web browser jump back and before or with the Google uh, try your luck button where you just jump associatively uh, into another part of the book um, <coughs> Was just um, uh, talked about this uh, kind of good situations he, he typed in and um, the, the particular look of his of his leaves he wrote with typewriter and then uh, early Mac computers and we were a little bit inspired of course of that kind of aesthetics and um, we were also impressed about the, this certain kind of beauty he really um, he really uh, did his his leaves it's not really like um, it's not a coincidence, this is really um, uh, uh, done with lots of love and uh, still it looks kind of crude so uh, we had to choose a layout in the first instance um, apart from the fact that that is turning off in an algorithm or so which is um, somehow is dealing uh, with these with this mistakes so somehow um, uh, let these mistakes um, um, appear in a good way and not pointing them out as a mistake as the whole book uh, wasn't uh, lectured. Yeah. Um, and that was uh, for me as a designer, of course, uh, some new situation, uh, you know, not uh, picking out uh, 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 any errors and say, you know, now we have to make, we have to standard, uh, uh, standardize this or we have, to, we have to change that. We only changed what we really could change um, in the database through search and find. This is yeah, basically, uh, basically what can be done also automatically on a text level was done, but it was not like correct. Just to give some new, uh, well, standards. Yeah, and to keep, to, keep this, to keep the spirit alive, uh, which comes from the artist itself. I mean, the text, did you say that the, this, is, this is very heterogeneous? You said already or not? No. From, um, from a very very long text which uh, which which were published in uh, re re owned uh, magazines um, two very short fragments which he um, wrote uh, whilst he was uh, uh, using uh, using drugs or whilst he was uh, totally uh, drunk so the range of quality in in, in that uh, sense was very very wide open and also the like the book was like sort of chronologically so it's also like a biography in a way. He started as a rock and roll writer for uh, the road critics about music and local Zurich punk rock bands. And then he you know, switched complete designs and uh, studied and uh, was kind of a uh, scientific philosophical. The texts were, of course, way longer and way more complicated. Uh, and yeah, ended up as a journalist with a lot of. Uh, yeah, in the end, and with a lot of personal notes. 
the world that this is just like um we can look at this um for example it's a, it's a much more easy um, uh, uh, rule set than compared to the first book we showed the one about the bibliomania it's basically it's just a, a one two and three column layout and we gave the column different fonts which we at the first instant uh, really just uh, said it was like a setting we had the long uh, texts the very long ones this is a three row times and we have the second long ones this is a two two row uh, and alphabetica and the shortest one are usually um, in, 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 in the career written in the career and that somehow matches because the longest uh, are the best in, 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 in the sort of uh, for quality and the shortest one and uh, the one uh, well, uh, career where the most uh, spontaneous uh, written text. Yeah, which was kind of funny because we were first uh, thinking of various possibilities how to switch from one form to the other and we thought of we, we packed text in the database, we assigned them to different um, different topics and in the end after numerous tryouts we just found out hey actually uh, we can just decide upon the length of the text because the short ones are as Rafi said just kind of drunk written notes which uh, need kind of a very tolerant layout and of course the long ones they are proofread and uh, so kind of a quite correct German language which, which can be printed in, a, in another grid with another font. <clears throat> um, but that's also interesting of uh, you know, working together that uh, uh, how, how rules develop uh, also that uh, when you start thinking of something and you end up uh, on, on a complete other other decisions you, you, you weren't aware of that that could be uh, work. Uh, as you can see there are like always uh, like big and small parts where the columns, columns are getting uh, wider or narrower. The white parts are uh, marked in the database as Central, central for the topic of the text. This is not an automatic process. This, this was uh, done by hand uh, by Gina because she was just reading through all the text and uh, working out this, this uh, structure. I don't think that it could be done with a machine, of course. It would be interesting to kind of think of semantic uh, algorithms which analyze the content of the text but it's quite hard to make and it's also our approach that we do whatever is possible and makes sense and uh, from a point on when we think that uh, something has done, is done by hand we, we are not afraid to switch, to switch the side basically and uh, uh, with Fisher book basically the, the, the the, 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 all the work on the content level is basically a, a classic editorial work where you just you know we analyze text, you mark interesting parts or central parts. But how the things are linked together or how the book develops over all the pages, we, this is not um, really under our control. And this is also for us basically the the, the, the surprising side effect. Oh. Oh, good. Now you can see all the cheats. <laughs> On the first, it's written, say thanks to Lisa and Sylvia. <laughs>
is that the book is programmed here in that case in LaTeX, LaTeX, which is quite famous for scientific scientists. It's a very nice and beautiful language which was developed, which is uh, kind of an extension to text, text, which was developed by Donald Knut in the 70s. And uh, it, it really does a lot of things quite beautifully text flows and uh, breaking, the breaking of lines is, is, is really, uh, really nicely implemented with LaTeX. Um, the problem is that it was designed for scientists, so they don't have a clue about uh, design. So it does every, uh, it, it tries to do as many things as correct as possible. And if you want to uh, basically do something else with it, it's quite hard to modify the LaTeX core or to to modify, you know, this 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 the system. And uh, instead of the, the bibliomania book, we decided to program everything, uh, you know, based upon another PDF library. And so we are in control of the whole algorithm. Here we try to use an existing system and just modify it that much that we we have it at the point where we just. Want to, to close uh, the case here, <laughs> it's an office turn. Uh, okay, we have talked about books. Uh, uh, we don't want to get rich with that. We try to be as free as possible and learn if we have to.
it's basically only possible with redundant steps, just short columns up to, the, up to the point where they're in the That makes this process very slow. And it's for us not really important if we have to wait for 20 seconds or 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Uh, it's of course a little bit boring sometimes when you are in a kind of a, a correction process in the end, but uh, 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 Gina works mostly in the content management, so she doesn't really have to care about the output. And uh, so far, it works good with uh, some things, and I'm not interested in optimizing the output. Just like Yeah, the calendar for school that was a set of preview function. Yeah, yeah. They could uh, they could look at previous yeah. work and that took a few seconds and they had previews. But it was like that was leaf based, you know, this was really based on the this is where we also established this algorithm. If there's if there's loads of text, the time size getting smaller, if there is less text, the time size getting bigger, just because we weren't able to offer more space than these two side leaves. Yeah, was was the book is, is going, going to be generated from, from the beginning on with first to the last page.